Hello and you're very welcome to the Innovation Room here at RS Ireland and today we're going to take a quick look at the Fluke II910 which is an ultrasonic air leak detection camera. On the back there's an array of 64 microphones that scans from a frequency range from 2 to 100 kilohertz. It takes that information and creates a decibel per frequency spectrum and it will help your maintenance team detect any sort of leaks in compressed air, gas or even vacuum systems. The microphones are also so sensitive that it can pick up partial discharge so what we're going to do today in this video is we're going to take a quick look at the technical specs. We're going to take a look at how to operate the camera and how you can generate a report after the fact for your maintenance team to go back and locate the leaks and calculate the cost of leak per year. We're also going to take a quick look at the RS Ireland Air Leak Survey and the associated benefits of having your compressor infrastructure inspected. So let's have a look. So when you get the kit, it comes packaged in a nice hard case and it's uh, well secured on the inside. Also included is the charging accessories, which may include any spare cables or adapters, a dual battery charger, comes with a spare battery, a neck and a hand strap, and a spare dust cover. So at the front, it's just a simple interface of a capacitive touch screen with a capture button and the power button. And on the back, we have the fixed camera with the 64 microphones. The Fluke II910 has a frequency range of 2 to 100 kilohertz with a maximum detection range of 120 meters. Its nominal frame rate is a maximum of 25 frames per second with a maximum resolution of 1280 by 800 pixels. So the user interface is a 7 inch capacitive touchscreen and we have two types of capture modes. We have the leak queue mode which is used to quantify your air leaks and the PDQ mode is used to quantify how severe your partial discharge may be. As well as the two main modes we are able to take up to a thousand images and store up to 20 videos at one time. The II910 connects your PC via USB-C and it is recognized as an external drive making it easy to transfer data to and from the camera. On the right hand side we have our spectrogram and we can EQ out any of the unwanted frequencies. We can also increase or decrease the size of our bandpass filter. We can access our types of capture modes in the top left corner. So we have image here on the top. So to take an image we simply press the capture button and it'll start to save as a JPEG. If we would like them, we can add some notes and you can input any sort of information for future reference here. And then to save, we just exit out and that's been saved in the internal memory. So let's have a look at the leak queue mode. To capture a leak, you need to include it in the center circle, line it up every time to get an accurate calculation. So we can fine tune some acoustics here so you can turn on or off the high frequency range. So the high frequency range is from 50 to 100 kilohertz. Maybe you just want to listen from 2 to 50 hertz depending on the reflections in the room. So right now we're going to simulate a leak. Uh, we have some pipe here with a can of compressed air and an open end. And when I press the can, the frequencies on the right hand side all light up. These are all the harmonics from the fundamental frequency. So to capture it, we're going to press the button and wait for it to load up. And now we have successfully completed a capture. So that's going to get saved to memory. And from here, we can add some uh, photo notes or some regular notes. So I'm just going to put in some notes here for future reference. And if I wanted to add some photo notes, I could take some photos of the surrounding areas. Perhaps there's a part number or a location identifier. And this will just help your maintenance team conduct any sort of maintenance. We can go in and give some tags. So yet again, we can put in the asset name, the asset ID of the part number perhaps, or what asset it belongs to. So under the leak tabs, we're going to be able to pick what type of leak it is. So if it's a quick connect, a treaded coupler, an open hose, and this will allow for more of an accurate calculation when we do our report. We can also choose what type of gas and the pressure in the line in bar. And for electrical, then we also have some other operating conditions that we can tweak. So if we press save, that's going to save to internal memory. So another feature as well is that we're able to save uh, different types of profiles. So in the acoustics, uh, we might always want to have the high frequency on or off. Uh, we can pick what palette we like. I'm going to pick iron bow 
and we can have a little center like a crosshair in the middle. So if I hit the plus sign at the end, we can add this to our profiles. And this is particularly handy depending on what type of environment you're in, if you know what sort of settings you want in each uh, facility. And as you can see, our scale has changed on the side. And now what I'm going to do now is I'm going to show you an example of a leak caught in the field and we're going to run a report on it. So in this capture we can see it's quite a large leak with the leak Q scale at 6.9 out of a maximum of 10. It's just an indicator of how severe it may be. It will also give you the distance, the sound pressure level at the source which is 76 decibels and then we'll have the frequency content on the right hand side. So to calculate the cost of leak per year, we can use the Fluke uh, Leak Q Report Generator tool on their website. And to get started, you simply just drag and drop the AS2 files into the site. Once the file finishes uploading, we can start to tweak our operating conditions to get an estimated cost of the leak per year. So we're going to set that metric and the currency is Euro. You're going to need to know the system pressure in bar so in this case this site was 7.4 bar you're going to need the cost of electricity per kilowatt hour so in this case it was 14 cent the specific power ratio can be often found on the compressor data sheets and then we're going to need to know the operating hours so this particular place ran 24 7. the further down then we scroll we get an estimated cost so it's 557 euro per year at a estimated leak rate of 42.9 liters per minute. And if we selected the type of fitting on the II-910 at the time of capture, that will give us a more accurate representation of the data. So from here we can generate a report. That report can then be exported as a PDF and shared with your maintenance team to carry out any necessary repairs. Compressing air can cost up to 30% of a facility's total energy consumption. Adopting a plant-wide ultrasonic air leak survey is a great way to both identify and quantify the size and cost of those leaks, meaning a more systematic approach to cutting compressed air costs can be applied. This allows for a prioritization of repairs based on the size of a leak or the expected cost of the repair. RS Ireland are happy to offer an on-site air leak survey as an RS member's staff will attend your site to perform a non-intrusive fault finding survey of your compressed air systems using the Fluke II-910 ultrasonic camera. This will both identify the faults and assess the severity of the fault in terms of costs. A full itemized report is then generated with a detail of the leak size, cost and estimated payback time if remedial work is carried out. Discover the benefits of an air leak survey which are reduced energy usage uh, you receive an itemized cost and benefit detail. You can improve the lifespan of your compressor, prioritize repairs, reduce your overall energy bill, and demonstrate a return on investment. If you are interested in getting an air leak survey on your site, please feel free to get in touch at the email on screen or reach out to your account manager. That's all we've had time for today. Thank you very much for watching the video and we hope to hear from you soon.